So today we're getting new Tesla panels installed on our roof. We've had Tesla panels for the last eight years and we finally had to get our roof redone. So Tesla came and took the panels off for free. If you're looking at buying solar, uh, make sure that a re-roof clause is in your contract. Uh, the sales guy promised it and when I got the contract it wasn't in there and I made sure that they went back and included that in the contract. Uh, so one thing to, to make note of if you're shopping for solar. When Tesla pulled the panels off, they said that the mounting system for that was obsolete. They can't get parts for it anymore. And they have a new improved mounting system, which I'm going to show you today. Uh, the old mounting system was basically a long bar piece of unistrut that went the length of the roof that was anchored with flashing. And the problem with that system is all the debris from, we have a redwood tree, so all those redwood needles kind of rain down on the roof and they collect under the panels against that unistrut. And it just sits there and rots for years and years and when they took the panels off, there were tons of insects in there and it, it seemed like a fire hazard. And Tesla also said they had problems with the electrical connectors on those old panels, so when they took them off, they, helped, they called headquarters and they said, we're just gonna put brand new panels on and so this is the new mounting system for uh, the new panels. It no longer requires a, a long bar and a long piece of unistrut to be installed. Uh, each one of these gets mounted on the roof. And it's uh, two pieces here. The bottom is a piece of plastic with a foam gasket. And that is installed on the roof surface. And then this aluminum mount has tapped holes for mounting the panels. That kind of creates a, a sandwich. So the bolt goes through and then there's a little port here for a nozzle for injecting sealant. And you can see as they inject the sealant, it fills this whole cavity and it'll start to leak out this labyrinth seal. And that's what tells them that the entire uh, inside volume is full of adhesive. Uh, so that's how it seals against the roof. It's much faster to install with this system. They installed 12 panels in two hours, where previously they'd have to haul up these 14 foot long pieces of steel unistrut. Uh, so it seems like a pretty neat system and I'll take you on the roof and show you what it looks like after the install. Once the mount is attached to the roof, this foot gets installed and that's what connects the panel to the mount. And you can see with the three different mounting holes and the slot in the foot, it gives them a lot of freedom to align it. And it looks like there's a stainless steel clip in the mount, either for grounding or just to maintain a certain tension. And this is the interconnect bar that connects panels to each other. So this replaces the long piece of unistrut. So this is much easier for the installers to carry up on the roof with them. And it basically just fits in the slot and there's a quarter turn cam system that clips it into the panel. So these are uh, the new panels that we got. We did a re-roof and the old panels, we used to have 15 panels that came out to the edge of the roof. And now we only have 12. We can take a closer look at the, how these mounts are installed. And as we can see underneath, it's all open. So there's no room for debris to collect. And they had these panels installed in under two hours from the time the truck pulled up to the time the truck left, which is uh, pretty impressive. In case you're wondering what the rest of the system looks like, this is the AC disconnect, which disconnects the inverter from the grid and this is the inverter with the DC disconnect which disconnects the panels from the inverter and on the inverter we can also monitor how much current and how many kilowatts the system's putting out to the grid right now it looks like it's doing about 3.2 kilowatt which is pretty good considering it's slightly cloudy outside I can also monitor what the solar is doing from the Tesla app 
Uh, if you open the app and it shows your car, you can just swipe to the left and it'll show you the, the solar system. And considering this was installed uh, eight years ago, I think it's pretty impressive that it's still integrated completely with the Tesla's ecosystem. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, feel free to subscribe to see more videos. Thank you.